this AG Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to make a really intricate looking braid. As you see I'm here with Juliana and let's get started with this beautiful braid. Now the things we are going to be needing is a spray bottle, any wire wick brush, I'm using the one from the American Girl store, some tiny hair elastics, and some little hair decoratives. So now, to get started, you're going to want to spritz her hair. I have already spritzed this hair, so now I'm just going to get on to doing the braid. Now, we're going to grab a section near her forehead, and we're going to make it into a micro braid. We're going to separate it into three equal pieces, as equal as you can, and start a regular braid. Now for you, those who don't know how to do a regular, don't know how to do a braid, you're going to do these three simple steps. Do the left strand over the middle and the right strand over the middle. And you're going to repeat this left over the middle and right over the middle. It's actually pretty simple. It's nothing really hard. And don't worry because I'm going to be doing this all the way down. I'm not going to be doing any different steps. Just left over the middle and right over the middle. If you start off doing right over the middle and then left over the middle, it's okay. You'll still get the same braid. So don't worry about that either. So I actually want to braid tight but also not that tight. So I'm kind of braiding in the middle, but it's up to your choice or however you want to braid. So I'm just going to braid it all the way down, and it's as simple as that. So, it, this braid looks actually really difficult to do. It looks like it's an intermediate braid, something super hard that you're never going to get. But once you're finished and as you're going through these steps, you'll be like, really, is that easy? So I really hope you enjoy this because it looks really hard, but it's actually super easy and super fun to do. I really enjoy it. So now, as we're reaching the ends, we're going to grab a small hair elastic and we're going to clip the ends. Secure it so that the braid does not unravel. And as simple as that. So now we're going to do two micro braids as well as this one. We're not we're going to do them right next to each other like one right here and one right here. And you won't need to part any sections, it's not necessary, but if you want to feel free to do it. So now I'm just going to make two extra micro braids just like this and I'll see you right back. And as you see, I'm in my third micro braid, and I'm just doing another regular braid, as I explained earlier. And I don't know if you've noticed, I have already made my second micro braid. So I'm almost done here, and just reaching the ends. And now I'm going to tie it again with an elastic to secure it there so the braid won't unravel. And I've already reached the ends, I'm just going to grab my elastic. You can actually use bigger sized elastics, they will still work perfectly, but I'd rather use the smaller ones because, I don't know, it's more comfortable than having such a big bulky elastic. But if you don't have small um, rubber bands, it's okay, you can use whichever one you have. And as you see, now we have three micro braids. Now if you have three at this time and they kind of all look the same, then that means you're on the right track. So now, here comes the tricky part. You're going to have to braid the micro braids. Why I had made three micro braids is so that there could be three strands as well as you have three strands when you make a braid. So now we're going to do left or the right over the middle. I like doing left. You can do whichever one you like though. Do left over the middle and right over the middle. Do left over the middle again and right over the middle. And you're just going to do a regular braid. We're not doing anything else. So don't worry. 
just going to be doing left over the middle, right over the middle. I'm going to continue this until you get all the way down. If you don't understand, also feel free to tell me in the comment section. So I'm just going to braid it all the way down. Let me do it like this. As you see, you are ready. After you've done like three stitches, you already see an immediately transformation of the braid. So now that I've already reached the tips until I can't braid any until I can't braid anymore, now I'm going to grab my rubber band and secure it in place right there. I'm going to secure it there. All three clips right there. Right all three little braids right there. And you see you already have this super intricate braid. Now, you're just going to pull out the other rubber bands if you would like to. I honestly like to so it doesn't look like a mess of rubber bands in the remainder of the hair. I like to do that. But it's optional, whatever you can do. You can leave them all there to make it look like it's a decoration. That's what I like to do. So now I'm just going to brush the tips and brush the rest of the hair. And at this time, this is where I like to use my hair decorations. Like I say, this is completely optional. You could put a ribbon, a bow, just leave the color elastic. But I like to add, I think it's a really cute accent right here. I just add a little flower right here at the end, and I honestly love this braid. It is my most favorite braid of all time. So now I'll show you the whole look. So here's the little, here's the three braided micro braids and the rest of the hair. And this is the front view. And that's pretty much it. Well, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And now, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, down below in the comment section, feel free to ask me any questions. And God bless you. Bye.